Good morning everybody and today on Pinchy House Garage we're going to learn how to pull the Mark II GTI steering wheel today. So let's get to work and this is Pinchy House Garage. How to get to the actual bolt that actually um, controls the uh, or that bolts on to the steering wheel or holds the steering wheel in place. So you need a flathead screwdriver to get this access port off. So with the flathead screwdriver, just get down underneath and kind of pry a little bit. Try to. <laughs> Don't break anything. There you go. And you'll see way down there. There's the um, the thing, the thing that we need to do to get the thing out, so we can get the thing off. All right, which is called the nut. <laughs> so we need to get that size. That looks like a 24, maybe 22, 24. We'll find out right now. So the nut that holds the wheel in is an actual 24. Um, so I broke it loose before I actually. Uh, Showed you so, so I can film it. So there you go. There's a washer in there if you guys see that. So this looks like a big spline um, wheel. So that means you could use Mark IV steering wheels on this car, which is pretty cool. Um, which I actually have one right now, so I can show you guys. It's pretty easy to pop one on. So that's off. This is needed so you can get the uh, dash off, so uh, it will make the dash removal a lot easier when we get to that DIY later. So the wheel's off, uh, so I'm going to show you guys really quick on how to install, or so you can check out what a Mark IV wheel looks on it. Give me a second. Uh, well, since mine's an 86, this has a small spline uh, wheel, so Mark IV wheels don't bolt on. <laughs> you have to get an adapter. Uh, that would have been cool. It's a big wheel, but... Uh, yeah, so the spline itself is for an actual, it's, it's an actual older model, a model Mark II, so you have to get a either aftermarket wheel with a hub, or try to find another Mark II wheel that actually fits and looks good on there, if you can find a clean one. I'm going to try to hunt down a wood grain one, since the wood grain ones are pretty sexy. So what I'm doing here, I'm just putting the, uh, the nut back on, so I don't lose it with the washer. The wheel's done, so that's out of the way for right now. But that's it for now. I mean, later down the road, we'll see what we, what um, hub we're going to be using and what aftermarket wheel we're going to be going with. I'm probably going to look for a flat bottom one. That way, there's more room in the car when we drive it. But that's it. Thanks for watching on today's DIY and how to remove a Mark II steering wheel. Peace out.